Welcome to our homestead. We are standing in front of our stove because we are going to show you how to can one of the most important things that nobody cans, and that is water. This is extremely important for emergency situations and everybody should have some canned water on hand. We are always thinking about canning food, but not a lot of people have an emergency water source. I would not recommend buying water in plastic bottles and storing that up because those bottles will break down over time and they've been sitting around for a long time in warehouses, hot warehouses, meaning they will have microplastics in them. You can buy bottled water like this Mountain Valley Spring water, which is amazing water. However, it's very expensive. So why not just can your own water and it's gonna last for a long period of time. Let me show you how to do that. Your canned sterile water will last for years and years and is obviously good for drinking, but it's also good for sterile medical procedure. Let me talk about your input water first. You have to use filtered water because that filtration is going to take out VOCs, industrial chemicals, pharmaceuticals, heavy metals, all of the above. If you're using a good filtration system, of course. We use our old Berkey with the new Boro filters, which do fit in the Berkey systems. I did a video review on those in the past and you can check it out at the top of the screen. But that's going to filter out all of those things I just talked about. But something it doesn't filter out is this. And that's certain vegetative cells like viruses, bacteria, and certain parasites. The boral filters filter down to one half micron, but many viruses are 0.1 micron and some bacteria are less than half a micron. So in order to kill off those vegetative contaminants, we need to boil our filtered water. For this process, you are going to need your water bath canner, a pot with your filtered water in it, and a pan for boiling and sterilizing the lids of your jars. It's recommended for the water that's going inside of the jars that you bring it to a boil and boil it for at least 10 minutes at a rolling boil. I've seen some people use more than just three pots and it's really unnecessary. This is a perfect way to do it. The first step is to wash your jars with hot soapy water. Our second step of course is to get our lids sterilized. And our third step is going to be to place our jars inside our water bath canner. We have enough water in here to cover full jars with about an inch to an inch and a half of water. And if you haven't seen these four jars lids before, you should really check them out. They are a premium lid. We use them on a lot of our canning. You can check the link in the description below the video. So here's what we have. We have our canning jars open and in our water bath canner. There's about an inch and a half of water over the top of them. We've got our lids sterilizing in the back and we have our filtered water that has now been boiled for 10 minutes. This is the water that we will be placing in the jars. You don't need to get this to a boil. It just needs to be hot enough to get these jars nice and hot. We'll then take these jars and empty this water out into the sink, fill with the good water, put our lids on, finger tighten the screw lid, then place them back in the water bath canner. You may, if you want, add a tiny pinch of sea salt to each jar. Now that these jars are hot, we're gonna tip out about half inch of headspace of water. We're gonna empty the rest into the sink. Do this fairly quickly because you want these jars to remain nice and warm. So I'm gonna do these individually one at a time. You can choose to take them all out at the same time if you can fill them fast enough, but I want the jar to remain warm. And I know somebody's gonna comment about my plastic canning funnel, but that's all I have right now. We wanna leave about a half inch of headspace in each jar. We're gonna take our sterile lid, and I don't feel it necessary to wipe the rim on these just because they're already washed and this is only water. So we're gonna place on our lid and then finger tighten the screw top. Okay, we're all filled up into the water bath canner they go. Now if I did this right, we should have the exact same amount of water over the top of our sterile water jars that are closed. And there we go. Perfect measurement. Now make sure you have a rack in here to keep them off the bottom. 
What we're gonna do is bring this up to a boil and then process these for 10 minutes if you live at an elevation from between zero and 1,000 feet above sea level. 15 minutes if you live from 1,000 feet to 6,000 feet and 20 minutes if you live above 6,000 feet. We're gonna put our lid on because it'll get it boiling faster. Once it's boiling, start the clock for those 10 minutes. Okay, that's it. We've processed them for 10 minutes in the boiling water. We're gonna take them out of the water bath canner and set them aside to cool. So that's it friends, start canning one of the most important things that you can can that nobody usually cans. Water is life and if something happens to your water supply, wherever it is, if it's on your well, if it's in your rural water system, if it's in your city, then you need a backup source of water. And you are always your own first responder and first provider. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments section below. Now go check out this video right here, which is our video on how to can beets without pickling them. Have a beautiful blessed day and we'll see you on the next video.